this video, we're learning how to solve two-step equations. And if you look at the top of our screen, we have some tips that are going to help us when we're solving these equations. So it says solve two-step equations by using inverse or opposite operations and reverse PEMDAS. Remember, anything you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other side. So let's take a look at example one and see how to use these tips when solving two-step equations. So example one is 2x plus 7 is equal to 25. So our goal is to get this x by itself. So in order to do that, we have to get rid of this plus 7 and this 2 on the left side of our equation. So we're going to have to use inverse or opposite operations and reverse PEMDAS. Reverse PEMDAS means that we want to start with addition and subtraction. Normally, for PEMDAS, we go from the left to the right. So for reverse PEMDAS, we want to go from the right to the left. So we want to start by getting rid of anything on the left side of our equation that is being added or subtracted. So in this case, we want to get rid of this plus 7 first. Remember, to get rid of a plus 7, we have to do the inverse operation, which is minus. So we're going to subtract 7 from the left side of our equation. And anything you do to one side of an equation, you have to do to the other. So we're going to subtract 7 from the right side of our equation. On the left side of our equation, we're just going to be left with 2x. And on the right side, 25 minus 7 is going to give us 18. So now we have a one-step equation that is 2x equals 18. So now we have to get rid of this 2, which is being multiplied by x. So we've got to do the inverse of multiplication, which is division. So we're going to divide the left side of our equation by 2. Anything we do to one side, we do to the other. So we divide the right side by 2. On the left side, 2 divided by 2 is 1, so we're just left with x. On the right side, 18 divided by 2 is 9, so we get that x is equal to 9. And we're going to check our answer by plugging in what we got for x into x in our original equation and seeing if both sides of the equation are equal. So I'm going to check over here on the right side of the screen. So again, instead of 2x plus 7 equals 25, I want to take what I got for x, which is 9, plug it in for x. So we're going to have 2 times 9 plus 7 equals 25. And I want to see if both sides of my equation are going to be equal. So 2 times 9 is 18. So I have 18 plus 7 equals 25. If you add 18 plus 7, you will get 25. So we get that 25 is equal to 25. Both sides of my equation are equal. So my answer of x equals 9 is correct. Let's take a look at example 2. So in this example, we have 3 times the quantity of y minus 4 is equal to 12. So again, we want to start by using reverse PEMDAS. So we have a 3 being multiplied by something that's in parentheses. Normally, parentheses comes before multiplication in PEMDAS. So for reverse PEMDAS, multiplication is going to come first. So we want to get rid of the 3 that's being multiplied first. Because the 3 is being multiplied, to get rid of it, we need to divide both sides by 3. Because multiplication and division are inverse operations. On the left side, 3 divided by 3 is 1, so these are going to cancel out. We're going to be left with y minus 4. On the right side, 12 divided by 3 is 4. So now we have y minus 4 is equal to 4. And on the left side, we have to get rid of this 4 that's being subtracted. And we're going to do that by adding 4 to both sides of our equation, because addition and subtraction are inverse operations. On the left, minus 4 and positive 4 just cancel each other out. They go to 0. So we're left with a y. On the right side, 4 plus 4 is 8. So we get that y is equal to 8, and we're going to check our work. So we're going to take our answer of y is equal to 8. We're going to plug in 8 for y in our original equation. So we have 3 times the quantity of 8 minus 4. And we want to see if this is equal to 12. So I'm going to simplify what's in the parentheses first. 8 minus 4 is 4. So now I have 3 times 4 equals 12. 3 times 4 is equal to 12, so I get that 12 is equal to 12. That is a true statement. So my answer of y equals 8 is correct. Let's take a look at two more examples. So example 3 is b divided by 5 plus 6 
is equal to 13. So we're going to use reverse PEMDAS, so we're going to start by getting rid of this plus 6. We're going to do that by subtracting 6 from both sides of our equation, because addition and subtraction are inverse operations. On the left side, we have a 6 being added and a 6 being subtracted, which cancel each other out. So we're left with b over 5, or b divided by 5. On the right side, 13 minus 6 is 7. So we have b divided by 5 is equal to 7. And now to get rid of this 5 that's being divided, we do the inverse operation, which is multiplication. We're going to multiply both sides by 5. On the left side, the 5s are going to cancel out and go to 1. So we're just left with 1b, which is the same as b. On the right side, 7 times 5 is 35. So we get that b is equal to 35, and now we are going to go over here and check our answer. So instead of b over 5 plus 6 equals 13, we want to put in 35 for b. So 35 over 5 plus 6 is equal to 13, and we want to see if both sides of our equation are equal. 35 over 5 is 35 divided by 5, which is 7. So we have 7 plus 6 equals 13. 7 plus 6 is 13, so we get that 13 is equal to 13. Both sides of our equation are equal, so our answer of b equals 35 is correct. Let's take a look at example 4, which says t minus 9 all divided by 3 is equal to 6. So for this one, we want to think of this t minus 9 as if it's in parentheses, so I'm going to draw parentheses because the entire quantity is being divided by 3. So our t minus 9 is in parentheses, and we're dividing that by 3. So reverse PEMDAS tells us that we have to get rid of this 3 that's being divided first. So I'm going to rewrite our equation so I have more space. So I have t minus 9 over 3 is equal to 6. To get rid of the 3 that's being divided, I'm going to do the inverse operation, which is multiplication. So I'm going to multiply both sides of my equation by 3. On the left side, the 3's are going to cancel out and go to 1. So we're just left with t minus 9. On the right side, 6 times 3 is 18. And now to get rid of this 9 that's being subtracted, I do the inverse, which is addition. So I add 9 to both sides of my equation. On the left side, minus 9 and plus 9 go to 0, so we're left with a t. On the right side, 18 plus 9 is 27. So I get that t is equal to 27. And finally, I just want to check my work. So instead of t minus 9 on the top of my equation, I'm going to plug in my answer of 27. So 27 minus 9 over 3 equals 6. I want to do what's in the parentheses first. So 27 minus 9 is 18. So I have 18 over 3 is equal to 6. 18 over 3, or 18 divided by 3, is 6, so I get that 6 is equal to 6. This is a true statement, so I know my answer of t equals 27 is correct. Let's take a look at two more examples. For our last two examples, I encourage you guys to pause the video and try them on your own, and then you can restart the video and watch my explanation to make sure that you get the answers correct. So example 5 is p divided by 4 minus 8 equals 12. Reverse PEMDAS tells us that we want to get rid of the minus 8 first. So we want to do the inverse, which is adding 8. Anything we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So we add 8 to the right side also. On the left side, a minus 8 and a plus 8 cancel each other out. They go to 0. So we're left with p over 4. On the right side, 12 plus 8 is 20. So we have p divided by 4 is equal to 20, and now we want to get rid of this 4 that's being divided by doing the inverse, which is multiplication. Multiply both sides of our equation by 4. The 4's cancel out and turn into 1, so we are left with a p. And on the right side, 20 times 4 is going to give us 80. So we get that p equals 80, and then we are going to check our work. So instead of p over 4 minus 8 in our original equation, we're going to plug in our answer of 80. We have 80 over 4 minus 8 is equal to 12. 
80 divided by 4 is 20. So we have 20 minus 8 is equal to 12. 20 minus 8 is 12. So we get 12 equals 12. This is a true statement. So our answer of P equals 80 is correct. For our last example, we have 7 times the quantity of x plus 10 is equal to 84. So reverse PEMDAS tells us we want to get rid of this 7 that's being multiplied before we do anything inside the parentheses. Because the 7 is being multiplied, we're going to divide both sides by 7 because multiplication and division are inverses. 7 divided by 7 is 1, so these cancel out. We're left with x plus 10 on the left. 84 divided by 7 is 12, so we get 12 on the right. And now to get rid of this plus 10, we do the inverse, which is subtracting 10. We have to do it to both sides. On the left side, plus 10 and minus 10 go to 0, so we are left with an x. On the right side, 12 minus 10 is 2, so we get that x equals 2. And finally, we want to check our work. So we're going to see if 7 times, we're going to plug in our value of 2 for x. So 7 times 2 plus 10 is equal to 84. We're going to do what's in the parentheses first. So 2 plus 10 is 12. So 7 times 12 equals 84. If you multiply 7 by 12, you do get 84. So we get 84 equals 84, which is a true statement. So our answer of x equals 2 is correct. So remember, when you guys are solving two-step equations, what you really need to remember is to use inverse or opposite operations and reverse PEMDAS. And of course, anything you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other.